You know him as Philip on Ozala. He is a co-worker with Nguns. He is in the syndicate that stores and sells cars. He has connection. His name is called Philip on Ozala. But today I want to talk about this man who comes from, he's actually as a foreigner. He comes all the way, but I'm going to tell you where he is. We don't talk about his business empire in real life and his net worth. Now, his name, his real name is Joe Kazadi. That tells you that he's an international man. Joe Kazadi was an actor. Philip is also a millionaire in real life. Business empire and net worth will be discussed shortly. Joe Kazati, who plays the role of Philip on Ozalo, is an entrepreneur and a millionaire in real life with business across South Africa and Congo. Kazati's success manifests um, perseverance and hard work. He was born in Congo, left with his parents to seek a refuge in South Africa at a tender age. He grew up, he grew up to be a professional chef and worked in prominent restaurant before giving a shot at modeling. He dreams of owning a chain of restaurant and turning them into a family business. He has been a professional cook for over a decade. I am qualified professional chef who can prepare several crew courses. I have been working in hotel industry since 10, 18 and one day I open a family chain of restaurants, a legacy I will leave to my daughter. In his interview with Savannah News, credit to be given to Savannah News, Kazada revealed that he was introduced into modeling by a co-worker who appreciated his uh, built body. One of my co-workers told me that I should try modeling since I am a muscular body. I have a muscular body. Since I had nothing to, 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 to lose, I made various inquiries and signed into a Devon modeling agency before moving to Johannesburg, where I scaled my career. I arrived in Joburg in a trailer of, uh, of luggage because my bus affair was short thanks to the understanding bus crew. Right. Joe Kazat has a beef stint on, um, on the Uzalo cast where he plays Philip's role, Philip's role. As an associate of Nkunzi, he had skipped the, the country due to assassination attempt and uh, entrusted his old friend Nkunzi to safeguard his wife Ndoni. While in exile, Nkunzi and Ndoni fell in love with a development that uh, infested uh, Gabisile. Living with Nkunzi for a long time, Gabisile tipped Philip what his wife and Nkunzi had been up to of env out of envy, leaving his unexpected return to catch the two in bed. Over his fruitful acting career, Kazadi played a role on the Queen's Scandal and Isitembi Isono and backed an international role on the way. His daughter is called Omotola Kazadi. Despite having a busy modeling gym and acting schedule, Joe is, a, is raising a three-year-old daughter named Oto, Omotola Kazadi. Light. Joe revealed that his, his single father who play who enjoyed being a full-time daddy to his little princess. Though he is actively looking for a partner, Joe Kazar has no intention of dating in the entertainment circle. There's hope for you, ladies. <laughs> there's hope for you. At least there's something that you can get. I wouldn't date in the industry at all. I want to date a woman who has a normal job. I want a peaceful relationship with my future partner. Right. Kazar is an acute businessman with his business interest in mining and freight Congo and real estate film production South Africa in 2022. His net worth is valued at 69.7 million rent. This guy is, he has money more than DJ Dira. DJ Dira, the last time I checked, he was valued at 67.8 uh, million rent. 
There are quite a number of lessons we can learn from the story. One, he's a refugee. He came to South Africa as a refugee. Coming to South Africa as a refugee, he never wasted his time. He never lamented things. He never blamed things that happened in this country. But he focused on what he should become. Today he has achieved a lot and is doing a lot and is going from strength to strength because the conditions sometimes we find ourselves in subject us to cruelty, subject us to a negativity, subject us to any brutality that comes in our way. But the key in life is never to give up, but focus on who you want to become. If ever there's a lesson you can learn from this man, and the lesson would have been, your dreams are still valid. Irregardless of your circumstances, your dreams are still valid.